Hello, I want to talk to you today about ethical principles. The medical profession has produced a lot of these. Some of them have quite annoyingly long names, such as non-maleficence. What that means is that patients should never be harmed. So I think, you know, we could all sign up to that one. Then there's beneficence, which means patients should actively benefit from medical treatment or interventions. Another one I'm sure we'd all agree about. Then there's autonomy. Patients should be able to make their own decisions and justice, which means that patients should have equal access to treatment. Those are the main ethical principles of the medical profession, which are useful, but they don't cover everything. There are some other options too, that researchers can often benefit from thinking through. One is ethics of care. This came from feminist research and feminist theory, but it's not just about care for women, it's about care for everyone, taking care of everyone involved in a research project. Then another one is the principle that actually everyone is an expert. Not on the same things, but on something. Everyone's an expert on something or some things, and those things can often be useful for research projects. That came from critical communicative methodology, which is a, a specific form of participatory research that was developed in Spain around the turn of the century. And both of these have a real focus on everyone involved, not just the patient or just the subject of research, as I think we used to say, mostly at least. So this is a move away from the medical profession's ethics, which are just about patients, to a recognition that everybody involved needs to be treated ethically in research. And the Trust Project was funded by the European Commission and led by researchers at the University of Central Lancashire, and they asked people around the world what was really important to them in terms of research ethics. Not researchers, just people who know stuff. And they found that four values came up over and over again. One of them was care, also fairness, respect and honesty. And those are good values to consider when you're doing research. If you get stuck with an ethical dilemma, trying to be fair, respectful, honest and careful and taking care of everyone, you can't go too far wrong. And students quite often ask me, which is the most important principle, Helen? Which principle should I really take most note of? You know what? Probably all of them. I know that's not really that helpful, and some will have more importance in particular contexts than others, but for a whole research project, probably all of them at one point or another. So, having outlined them here, I hope that will be of help to you in your own research.